we want to solve the given trig equation on the interval from zero degrees to 360 degrees. Notice how the interval is closed on zero, meaning it includes zero degrees, but it's open on 360 degrees, which means it does not include 360 degrees. Or if we wanted to solve this equation using radians, we'd have the interval from zero to two pi, again where the interval is closed on zero radians and open on two pi radians. Now if we take a look at our trig equation, normally we try to solve a trig equation by writing the equation in terms of one trig function, but notice in this case, both terms do have a factor of sine x, which means if we set this equation equal to zero, we can solve it by factoring out sine x. So we want to start by setting this equation equal to zero, so we'll subtract sine x on both sides of the equation. So this will give us two cosine x sine x minus sine x equals zero. Again, in this form, we can factor out sine x from both terms. So this would give us sine x times the quantity two cosine x minus one equals zero. Notice if we distribute, we still have two cosine x sine x minus sine x. But now that this is factored, if this product is equal to zero, then either sine x equals zero, the first factor, or the second factor, two cosine x minus one, must equal zero. So we can find our solutions using these two equations. Notice how this first equation is already solved for sine x. Let's go ahead and solve the second equation for cosine x. So for the first step, we would add one to both sides, which would give us two cosine x equals positive one, and now we'll divide both sides by two, which would give us cosine x equals one half. So the solutions to the given trig equation occur where sine x equals zero or where cosine x equals one half. Let's go ahead and find the solutions to these two equations using the unit circle. Remember on the unit circle, sine theta is equal to y, so to find the angles where sine x equals zero, we're looking for points on the unit circle where the y coordinate is equal to zero. And that occurs at zero degrees here, as well as 180 degrees here. So sine x equals zero when x equals zero degrees, or x equals 180 degrees. Of course, if we wanted to use radians, it would be x equals zero radians, or x equals pi radians. Notice how we're not going to include 360 degrees or two pi radians because the given interval is closed on 360 degrees or two pi radians. Now we also want to determine where cosine x equals one half. And again, on the unit circle, cosine theta is equal to x. So we're looking for points on the unit circle where the x coordinate is equal to one half. And since the cosine function value is positive, we know the angles must be in either the first or fourth quadrants. And notice how x is equal to one half here at 60 degrees or pi over three radians. And it's also equal to one half here at 300 degrees or five pi over three radians. So again in degrees, we have x equals 60 degrees or x equals 300 degrees. Or if we want the solution in radians, we have x equals pi over three radians or x equals five pi over three radians. Now since the interval was given in degrees, we should give our solutions in degrees. So our solutions would be zero degrees, 180 degrees, 60 degrees or 300 degrees. We would only give the solution in radians as we see here in green if we were given the interval in radians. I hope you found this helpful.